we're going to go through how to prime a Carrier 7300 or 7500. So this is the Carrier 7300. Probably the first thing to do is get your owner's manual and get the instructions out. Owner's manual should be right here. Uh, on this copy, any, anyway, it's page 42 has the instructions on what to do. So we're going we're gonna to walk through that right now. Come through here. First thing, make sure you got fuel in the unit. Uh, we want to get the air out of the line, get it primed. So we want to start by opening this breather valve all the way. This is your pump here. So you can open this up too. This should pop up. Once that pops up, you're ready to start pumping. Now this is the bad part. This is going to take at least 200 pumps before you feel the pressure of the fuel in the system. And then once you feel that pressure, it's going to take at least 100 more pumps to get the fuel all the way back up in through your uh, filter here and back out here. Once you're done, you've got it going, you're going to close all these off and start the system. Now there's some guys that will actually leave these open, continue to pump as they're starting the motor and running the motor to get all the air out of the system. But theoretically, you should be able to get it through, get it pumped, get it, get the engine started and get it fired right back up. So, those back up should be able to start your unit now. 